Hey y'all, it's Virginia Willis and I want to share with you this incredible recipe for garlic shrimp. And what's so exciting about this recipe is I'm actually using what are called Royal Reds. So Royal Reds are harvested about 60 miles offshore, but they're super deep water shrimp. So like a thousand feet, 1500 feet down. And when they're live and in the shell, they're bright red, hence the name. And the, the, the royal part though, comes from the fact that they taste a lot like a lobster or scallops. So a couple things. So first of all, you can make this recipe with regular shrimp, but this is super exciting that royal red shrimps are now available. And it used to be that you had to know a guy. Well, now you know a guy, right? So my friend Peter from Try Our Seafood, tryourseafood.com has these available. Go online, order them up. They're amazing. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, another thing about cooking the Royal Reds is that they um, are a little bit higher in salinity, so they're a little bit uh, they're a little bit saltier than a typical uh, shrimp, and they cook even quicker. So shrimp cook super quick, Royal Reds cook even quicker. And this recipe, what I'm doing is I'm basing this um, on a, a typical Spanish tapas. Now, in a, in a Spanish tapas, uh, the shrimps are cooked and then served, and they're served uh, basically with yummy, crusty bread um, to sop up all the delicious juices. Well, there's nothing wrong with sopping up delicious juices with bread, that's for sure, but I wanted to make this more of a dinner dish, and so I wanted to serve it on potatoes. You can serve it on rice or potatoes. Um, you don't have to have the starch. I actually just had a couple of potatoes that I needed to use up. Now, the other thing about the traditional Spanish recipe is it does use copious amounts of olive oil. Um, there's nothing also wrong with copious amounts of olive oil, but I'm doing Weight Watchers and I'm trying to watch my oil intake. These beautiful shrimp are zero points for me. The potatoes are a few, so I have to sort of balance it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to just heat up um, a little bit of this olive oil, and then I'm going to take about half the cloves and go ahead and get going in the skillet. And then the other half, I'm gonna sp sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. Not too much, because like I said, the shrimp are salty. And we're gonna chop them. So we're gonna have two different sizes of garlic, And you have to be careful because once you're, if your garlic burns, it's, it's not a good thing, right? So, I'm going to combine my garlic and my shrimp and some pepper. And then I have a little bit of Spanish hot paprika. Okay, I'm going to add that. And then this is it. So we're just going to add the shrimp. There we go. And these are so sweet and delicious. So sweet and delicious. So once again, so tryrcfood.com. And then one of my favorite things about this is that these royal red shrimp are rated as a good alternative by Seafood Watch. And y'all know that I'm on the Seafood Watch aquarium, the Monterey Bay Aquarium, Blue Ribbon Advisory Board, trying to educate people about sustainable seafood. All right, and then so here I have some potatoes and I have to tell you all the truth, I just microwaved them, I sliced them up, put them in a pie dish, uh, covered them with plastic wrap, microwaved them for about four minutes and they're nice and tender. And now I have some parsley and I'm just going to bundle this up and chop it there. All right, let me check these shrimp. So the deal is with shrimp, royal reds or otherwise, you want them to be uh, white and that's it. So these are cooked. So I'm just gonna put my parsley in and give it a stir. And that's it. My supper's ready. I'm so excited. I'm going to do shrimp for supper. You have no idea. 
All right, so these beautiful royal red shrimp, dock to door from my buddy Peter at Try Our Seafood. Try Our Seafood has been the James Beard seafood purveyor for like 15 years for the Beard House. So that is that, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bon appetit, y'all.